Namaste friends. In this video, we are going to see how to perform two factorial completely randomized block design analysis online without writing single code in just three clicks. So, a website named www.agreanalyze.com is under development. Make sure it's HTTP, not HTTPS, because it's under development. So, Let's see how to arrange the data set of two factorial CRD. So first I am placing factor, our first factor nitrogen. Then I am placing our second factor that is phosphorus. Then I am placing corresponding values of the dependent variable. You can have 10 dependent variables, 15 dependent, dependent variables, no issue. The software or the online tool will perform analysis of all the trades simultaneously and give you a complete a complete pdf that will contain results interpretation and your multiple comparison test so the link of this data set i am sharing in the description box you can check it out later let's go to website so this is the home page of the website. Here we have button analytical tool. Currently it's under development and we have developed the CRD, RCBD and other stuffs. So let's check two factor CRD analysis. I'm clicking here. Then choose the file that we have prepared. So it should be the file must be in CSV format not in excel format once i upload the file i get the message here file successfully uploaded then choose the factor factor 1 i want nitrogen factor 2 i want phosphorus so once i choose the factor 1 and factor 2 rest of the columns are considered as a variables now choose the appropriate multiple comparison test so it's a tucky hsd uh, you can choose any one of these three. Let's choose DNMRD, Duncan's new multiple range test. I'm clicking on the submit button. After that, I'm clicking on the research button. Okay, let's download this file. You can see the on the left, we have got the download option. Click on download. let me zoom this for you so you can see two factor completely randomized design analysis for trade yield here so the null hypothesis the means of all the levels of nitrogen are same second null hypothesis is the means of all the levels of phosphorus are same and third is the mean of all the levels of the interaction or we can say a combination of nitrogen and phosphorus are seen. So here we have ANOVA, here we have p values, its result. Then we have other statistics that is SEM, SED, CD or LSD value and coefficient of variation in percentage for respective combinations. So we have our first factor, second factor and the interaction of first and second factor. Then we have interpretation of the ANOVA results. You can see interpretation has been written separately for first factor, for second factor and for interaction component. Then as we have chosen Duncan's new multiple range test, I am getting the results of DNMRT. So this is the DNMRT for our first factor that is nitrogen, then DNMRT for second factor that is phosphorus. And that is the NMRT for third factor that is nitrogen and phosphorus. So after that you can see our trade changed from yield to plant height. Our second trade was plant height. Same set of analysis and along with the interpretation and supplementary information like the NMRT is given for plant height also. You can choose up to 25 variables. Generally researchers have 15 or 10 you know stuff like that 
as a dependent variable in the study you can choose in this for up to 25 variables and this uh, online tool will perform analysis and give you this report for all the trades that you are sharing so this was all about two factor crd analysis using agri analyze thank you for watching this video